and welcome back to part two of our day talk. So we did part one and we went to see Devil's Bridge, Betty's Hope and Half Moon Bay and now we're going to go to the sites that are in English Harbour. So we've got Nelson's Dockyard and Shelley's Heights. And a quick point before we move on is next door to me is a sailing school and a dive centre. So if you're into activities, this is the place to come. And they're really nice people. Very friendly. So, let's get moving. Okay, we're driving back into English Harbour now. So this is a this is a nice town to come and stay in because you have everything you need here. So this is where I stay. And you can see like you've got some supermarkets, you've got plenty of places to eat around here. So this is Dockyard Drive going into town and then next to the petrol station where that van's turning so that van's turning right you've got more restaurants and you can go down to the marina there um, but then here you've got flatties on your left which is a great restaurant and then on your right you've got trappers which i'm always raving about because it is the best restaurant here it's just awesome So we've arrived at Pigeon Point Beach and as you get here there's this lovely little play area for kids and it's right on the beach so if you've got a family you know it's a really great spot to come let's just walk down to the actual beach what's really great about this beach is it's shallow and it's quite calm so it's really easy to swim here and snorkel. It's quite fun to see the boats too. So I wanted to show you Pigeon Point Beach because it's it's here right in English Harbour, so it's very easy to get to. But it, especially if you've got a family, it's just a great place to come. You know, there's lots of space for the kids. It's safer for the kids. So it's definitely worth showing. We couldn't stay here much longer because we need to get to Nelson's Dockyard next, so uh, we better get moving. So I've shown you two beaches today, but you know there are 365 beaches on this island, and uh, I can't get round them all in in one in one day. Um, but you've certainly got plenty to choose from. Now to, on the west coast you've got some great beaches, you've got Turner's Beach, Darkwood Bay and then you've got one called Morris Bay and that is spectacular, it's, so, it's completely different to what I've shown you, it's rugged, hardly anybody goes there and it has a great genus cook shop it's called, and she does a great barbecue for your lunch. So that it's definitely worth going down the west coast and having a look at those beaches. And then towards the north you've got Dickinson's Bay and I've got some footage of that that I'll show you. And it's absolutely stunning. So clear and blue. And at Dickinson's Bay they have the Contiki Bar and you can swim out to it or there's a boat. You just stand on the beach, wave your arms and it comes and gets you. And then it brings you back. But their cocktails are lethal. So just be warned. If you're swimming, take your armbands. I got quite drunk there last year and I fell off the boat. But there you go. So I've arrived at Nelson's Dockyard. This is at the end of English Harbour. And we're just going to make our way through. It's $15 to get in and that gives you a day pass for here on Shirley's Heights or you can buy a season card for 100 US dollars and that will get you into both for 
on my pass was over for three months while I was here so uh, it was worth it because I come up here a lot hang on let me just get myself checked in all right, as you come in you've got all these stalls selling clothes and you can get some fruit and veg here and this is also where the ATM is now there is an ATM machine in Covent Garden but that's only for people with a local card so that's where you need to go if you're in English Harbour and you need an ATM so we've arrived at Nelson's dockyard like you can it still has the old buildings it had and it was a working dockyard for the na naval people and they've repurposed the buildings so you see like that sails of Antigua up here is the museum the big white building around the back you've got the dockyard bakery and she's open oh they do some great cakes in the old marsh shed I've got a couple of shops they're quite nice shops actually I do like the one that's actually open I have a little nosy there let's have a look round you can get your rash guards get some souvenirs and clothes long sleeve t-shirts so look all these lovely souvenirs that's cool oh I wonder if my granddaughters would like those yes I know I don't look old enough to have grandchildren but I do I'm good. I'm just showing my viewers my favourite shop. It's a favourite shop. <laughs> it is oh, here, wow. yes. Yeah. It's better than next door. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say you own, own them both. <laughs> Solo travel at 50. So, so I told you I'm new. <laughs> you're 50? Yeah, I know. Oh, really? I, I, know. Thought, I thought you are like young. No, I'm well over 50. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you like... 30, 40 oh bless you! I'll follow you forever. <laughs> oh, I do love that shop, and they're so helpful in there. They've given me a guide to everything that's going on. And next year, they said if I come in here, they'll tell me everything that's going on, so I don't miss anything. And they're super lovely. Just give me a history lesson on Betty's Hope and uh, Devil's Bridge, which we went to earlier, and a couple of things I didn't know. Uh, so Betty's Hope is named because the one of the mills is Betty and one of them is Hope and that was the name of the daughters of the person that owned the plantation and you see I did not know that now we know that and he was saying that with Devil's Bridge that when they jumped off it was because they hoped that the waves would take them back to Africa what lovely people you see you meet such lovely people here. Anyway, let's get on with our tour. So, I've got another little shop here. And you walk down here, and you've got all the boats. All the fancy yachts. Anyway, look at these boats. Look at these blooming yachts. Doesn't it make you jealous we haven't got one? No, he was also saying to me in the shop, I can arrange to go out on some of these boats and if I come at sailing week next year which I am actually planning to do they'll be able to help me arrange to go out on one of the boats and that would be cool that'd be super cool God, look at that one it's like a house on flipping water building you can see right up on the hill that's Clarence house 
that is part of Nelson's Dockyard National Park as well but you can't go and visit now I know this because I walked there one day and I didn't see the no-go sign and I just walked in and the lady there that was I guess cleaning told me I had to get off you have to apparently book a tour here to go round I want to do that Look at these boats. So Nelson's Dockyard is still a working dockyard. So yes, you know, it was obviously built in Nelson's era and it was a naval base, but it's still a working marina. When they come here, they've got everything they need. There's a supermarket just to my right. I had to think then because I don't always get my left and right the, the correct way around. So I may be confusing her sometimes but uh, it's just it's just one of those things I just can't get right. I'm over 50 now and I still don't know my left from my right. It's shocking isn't it? Trained barrister as well. Gosh. Look. Now I quite like this little one. Look at this Rome. Isn't that a cute little boat? Oh, and that one looks like a pirate boat. Wow. Love it. Thursday's child. That's a cute little boat, isn't it? Look at the size of those. Jeez Louise. thing is the people that can afford these boats can afford the staff to look after them can't they and I can barely afford to look after myself okay let's walk across this way so up there it's got some of the officers for the marine marina sorry and the building on the end's pretty spectacular, isn't it? That's a restaurant. I don't know if you can see it from here or not, but there's a wall behind and then there's like a walled pathway and you can follow that. It's called the goat track. And it takes you to the end point and there's a fort on the end, Barclays Fort. That's quite a nice fort. It's a little bit steep getting up the first bit, but it's not very far. It's a nice, easy walk. Bathrooms. And an old telephone box. <laughs> Quirky. So we're back by the shop with the lovely people in and the museum. So we'll have a quick look around the museum because it's quite good. Now it might be noisy because I can hear them soaring and drilling. But let's let's hope we can see what's going on. There you go. Stick your head in there. Get your picture done. So you come in and it's got all about the development of the dockyard. All the cups won. And a bit about what it was like to live here. Oh, there was last week an exhibition on slavery, but that's gone.
They must be moving things around, but... Come up here. This bit here. This is kind of cool. Oh, they are working down there. But what they've done here is they've replicated life below decks. Huh. And then this bit. I find this bit quite cool. This is the beds, but these metal beds, this cast iron military beds, apparently, when the British Army left, it says, many of these beds were salvaged by the villagers of English Harbour, and a few are still being used today. Well, they look like good beds. I don't want to waste, do you? Okay. Right. That gives you an overview of Nelson's dockyard. Yeah, it's a nice place to come. Just come and chill out. I do come here quite a bit actually, I do know that one shot. But we'll move on now to our, sorry, move on now to our next destination. Okay, now we're coming up to Shirley's Heights. I've got to stop at the gate. I'll show my pass. If you've got these beautiful manicured gardens but you've got these views but it's better if you come up here so I'm not sure what this old building was but you can climb up here and you can see the old walls but Come up here. It tells you a bit about the park as well. But look at the view. should miss this and from here you can see where that bit of iron comes out and serves the way from us you can see Barclays Fort that's what I was telling you about when we were at the dockyard you follow the goat track where we were earlier, big boats. But personally, I like this view. But it's not just the view of the harbour. Look, I'm going to take you over here. Of course, it's windy. Look at the view of Antigua. 
there for some views. Okay, let's get back in my car. I'll go up to the next point, which will be the block house. So we're going to go up that road that you can see in the hills, all the way to the top and then across to Shirley's Heights. Stop in halfway to the blockhouse, which is actually on the other side. It's so beautiful. All right, need to stop for these goats. Or to decide which side of the road they're going on. I don't think he trusts them not to run in front of the car. Get out, have a proper look. This is the guard house and you walk round the back there. Look at these cacti, aren't they? Just great. And you walk round here and this is the lookout area. This is also where they have the Shirley's Hikes parties as the bar area and that's where they set the band up. Well, what you've come to see is the view. Up here on top, and here's your view. Now, it is a great view. There's a beach down there, you can see and that's Galleon Beach. That's a nice beach, it's got some nice snorkeling areas, but I find it too noisy. 
there you go. That is Shirley's Heights Lookout. Done and dusted. Well, I think I've shown you quite a bit today. Not as much as I perhaps wanted to, but there's a lot to see on this island and to do it all in one day is a bit much. But that's the last stop of today. Let's go home. I need a cup of tea. I've had my cup of tea so I feel a little bit more human now but I'm very tired. It's been a very very long day. I'm going to have to split the video into two parts because I well, basically waffled on so much. Um, it's going on forever. I didn't even know I could talk that much. Usually I just talk to myself so gosh I must sound like a nut when I'm walking around. Anyhow I hope you enjoyed my day with going around the island. Um, I certainly had fun going to all my favourite places and um, met some lovely people and so for now I'm going to go and have a nice shower. I'm probably going to bed early and uh, we'll see you all soon. So for now it's goodbye from Antigua.